Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Danielle. Today we're gonna to get started on our backs. So slowly just roll down on your mat, and then we'll bring the soles of our feet together, knees out nice and wide, coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. And you can choose anywhere you wanna put your arms. You can have your arms down by your sides, palms up. You can have one hand on your heart, one hand on your navel. Again, anywhere that feels like you won't fidget too much, that you can relax and you know connect to your mat, connect to your body, connect to your breath. And take just a nice few deep inhales in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Inhaling in through your nose. Exhaling out through your mouth. Inhaling in through your nose. Exhaling out through your mouth. And this, this next round, take a nice big deep inhale in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. And then about halfway through your exhale, seal your lips and finish breathing out through your nose. Okay, so inhaling in through your nose. Exhaling out through your mouth, halfway, seal your lips, exhale out through your uh, nose. Good, inhaling in through your nose. Exhaling out through your mouth, halfway, seal your lips, finish breathing out through your nose. Okay, take about three more just like that. Continue breathing just like that, halfway out through your mouth, and then finishing off breathing out through your nose. Or you can start to cultivate your ujjayi breath, practicing breathing in and out through your nose as best you can. So again, any of those options, of course, exhaling out through the mouth when you need to, if you wanna practice that halfway of ujjayi breath, halfway out through the mouth, sealing the lips, breathing out through the nose, go for it. Okay, so here's your chance to really connect with your breath, taking maybe the most mindful breath you've taken all week, all day. Good, inhale in through your nose. Take another exhale out through your mouth. <sighs> Taking your hands and bringing them to the outsides of your knees and then using your arms to help guide your legs together, okay? After that nice big hip opener, we're gonna do the opposite now, okay? So we're gonna walk our feet out as wide as our mat, okay? Or wider than hip distance and then let your knees knock in together. So we're finding this internal rotation. Okay, so knees knock in. And then slowly bring your arms um, out in front of you and then just give yourself a hug, okay? So just notice which arms on top and maybe your fingertips touch the floor, okay? I can wrap mine behind my shoulder blades if that feels good, okay? Don't worry too much about what it looks like. And then just bring your elbows up towards the sky. And again, just cultivating your breath, allowing yourself to turn inward here. Let your shoulder blades be heavy. Let your, let your low back be heavy as well too, your hips. And then switch the cross of your arms, whatever arm uh, was on top, now switch it so that's on the bottom. And again, just kind of readjust here. Lift your elbows up towards the sky. Allow everything to become heavy again.
Good, and then releasing your arms, and then allow your legs to come back to neutral, then walk your feet back underneath um, your hips here, okay? So everything's nice um, and even and hip distance apart, okay? If you have the space, we're gonna do some arm circles. I'm going to take the modified version, so I'm gonna bring my hands to my shoulders, lift your elbows up towards the sky, then circle your arms down and around towards your hips, and then elbows again, arms up over your head, circling your arms just three times in this direction. and then slowly reversing the circle. So arms or elbows drop down by your sides, reaching your arms out to the sides, arms up over your head, and then circling down and around just three times, nice and slow, just cleaning out the shoulder joint. It's very similar to the hip joint, okay, ball and socket joint. Okay, good, and then from here, arms will reach out to the sides, palms face up, and then let your knees fall over to the left. You can stack your legs if you'd like, or you can leave them in hip distance apart, whatever feels good for you here. And just come into a nice little twist, supine twist. your next inhale slowly let your knees fall to the other direction to the other side again try to take that same variation you did on the first side for the second side your next inhale bring your legs back to the center center yourself back onto your mat again if you adjusted and then open your legs out nice and wide about as wide as your mat okay we'll come to the side body stretch here so right leg is going to cross up and over your left ankle arms can reach up over your head or you can start to lift and stretch a little bit over to the left side of your mat feeling a nice big stretch through the right side body Good, again, of course, any variation with your arms, depending on how much space you have. You can bring your hands behind your head. You can clasp your thumbs. Okay. And then let's go to the other side. Okay, so unwinding your right leg, straightening back out, and then left ankle crosses up and over your right. And then again, stretching over to the right side, bending over, if that feels good. Trying to keep your left shoulder grounded onto the mat, your left hip grounded. And again, breathe into the left side body. Breathe in between each rib. Slowly unwinding, stretching your arms up over your head. Give yourself a nice big stretch. Exhaling, gathering your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice little hug. And then similar to what we did with our shoulders, we'll do with our hip joints as well too, with our knees nice and bent here, okay? So we'll make little circles here. So legs are gonna move like egg beater. So you're gonna move your legs out to the sides, to your side body, circling them around, down and together, and then back into your chest. Just three times circling your legs out and around. Good, one more and slowly reversing the circle. So knees drop down, circling out and around, back into your chest and then down. One more, about three times. Good, and then again, give yourself a nice little hug here, rocking from side to side, just massaging your low back. Taking your time, you're gonna rock forward and backwards just to come into a little bit of a balance not quite in full boat pose, but you want to balance on your sit bones. Keep your knees into your chest here, okay? Maybe your toes touch the ground or you can float them off, that's fine, okay? And again, don't raise them quite up into tabletop quite yet. Okay, roll your shoulders, lift your chest, try to keep finding your balance. Maybe your hands reach forward or again, you can keep hanging on to the backs of your legs or your shins, whatever feels good, but stay a little compact here. See if you can sit up a little bit taller. Good, bringing the soles of your feet together, knees out nice and wide. Gently just start to fold over your hips. Okay, so again, same leg position that we took on our backs, but now we're just seated. 
Okay, so a little seated Baddha Konasana. Good, and again, any variation here, you can keep your arms tight close into you, or you can stretch your arms forward. You can do a little head and neck action, just shaking your head yes, shaking your head no. Good, and then gently rising on up, coming right back up to seated. Good, and then slowly just drop your uh, left ear to your left shoulder. Good, sitting up nice and tall again, see if you can drop your shoulders down. Good, switching right ear to right shoulder. Good. Good, let's go back to the left side. Left ear to left shoulder. Okay, and again, keep rising up to sit up nice and tall. So lots of core work. I'm using my hands to help lift me up so I stay nice and tall. Good, from here, we're just gonna drop our shoulder, or excuse me, our chin towards our chest or towards our shoulder. So left ear is side. Okay, then you slowly start to drop your chin down towards your chest, towards your shoulder, and then hopefully you'll get a nice little stretch through the back side of the right side of your neck. Okay, or whatever side you're on. Good, and then bring your left ear back to the side and then rise on up and we'll switch sides. Right ear to right shoulder and again, keep lifting up. Use your abdominals to help guide you to sit up nice and tall. And then again, of course, your arms can help guide you as well. Great, and then we'll drop our chin towards our chest, towards our shoulder, okay? Nice and easy. Again, notice when you turned your head, if you wanted to kind of slump down, keep lifting up through your spine, root down through your ischial tuberosities, right? Your sit bones. right ear sideways and then gently rise back up good from here left leg is going to extend out to the side okay and you're going to keep your right leg just hooked in close to your inner thigh here okay reaching your arms out to the sides okay we're going to uh stretch towards our straight leg first okay so left hand down behind your leg if you can and then reaching your right arm up and over good now going to the opposite side right arm down towards your bent knee and then left arm up and over. So I'm moving sideways here, okay? So again, we're getting into that side body stretch. And then back, we're just gonna do this three times, just tick-tocking back and forth. And again, just trying to see if you can anchor both your sit bones down as you move back and forth. So notice if you have a tendency to wanna lift up through this left hip, really ground down, okay? So you find this like resistance as you're moving away from your legs, okay? The straighter leg is a little bit harder to keep grounded, so you wanna really Press into your sit bone. Okay, we'll go back again, other side. Good, ground through that right sit bone, switching, ground through the left sit bone as you reach up and over. Good, arms come back up over your head. Okay, and then wherever your hips are, okay, wherever your knees are, okay, you might have to adjust a little bit, but we're gonna fold right in between our knees here. Okay, so gently start to fold forward. And again, great place to, again, really connect back into your sit bones so your hips aren't lifting up. You wanna stay grounded and rooted into the mat. So don't worry if your back is flat or rounded. Okay, just find softness here. And again, drop your head, make it heavy. You can do all those little adjustments by shaking your head yes, shaking your head no. On your next inhale, slowly rise on up, okay? And then we'll switch sides, okay? So right leg out, left leg in. And again, you know, a good point to come back into is um, soles with feet together, knees out nice and wide, and you kind of take your angles from there as well, okay? So starting out nice and wide with the arms sitting up nice and tall, okay? We'll go towards the straight leg, right hand behind your right leg, left arm up and over, side body stretch, and then switch into your bent knee, left arm back right arm up and over and again check in with your hips check in with your sit bones and then most importantly check back in with your breath good going back to those nice big mindful inhales and exhales good one more on each side or in each direction i should say <laughs> good coming on up 
Now slowly coming all the way back up to center. Good, folding in between your knees. And again, this might be a really big adjustment you have to take, it might just be really minor, but again, just being mindful of how you are folding forward in between your knees. And again, ground back into your sit bones. You can even use your hands to press down. All right, and then again, try to see if you can release any tension from your head, neck, and shoulders. Inhaling, slowly rise up. Good, and then from here, we're gonna bring both legs out nice and wide, okay? And you can go as wide as your mat, okay? You can go um, even narrower or wider, whatever feels good and whatever you're ready for. Okay, and then um, this time, we're just going to stretch forward, okay? So don't worry too much about what your legs are doing. Um, you can have them be relaxed if you'd like, okay? Um, if you have blocks or pillows, you can bring them underneath you. You can bring your hands under your chin if you'd like, and again, let your legs just be heavy here, and you might have to adjust by bringing your legs in closer or wider apart. You can always stack your fist, rest your forehead on your fist if you'd like. Okay, whatever position feels good here. Close your eyes. And again, check back in with your breath. Don't worry how far down you are or where you're at in your practice. Just allow yourself to release, relax, and breathe into these stretches, into these asanas. Breathe into your practice. Good, slowly from here, come on up, nice and easy. Use your hands to guide you up. Okay, and then again, use your arms to help guide your legs back together, okay? So I like to do a little Pinocchio, bending my knees with my arms and then bringing my legs back together. And you can even shake them out if you need to. Good, and then we're gonna come into just a little core work, okay? So let's start with the soles of our feet together, knees out nice and wide. Practicing keeping your hands together at your heart center. And of course, if this is, um, you know, feels a little too difficult or you're not quite ready for it, you can bring your arms to your sides, okay? Um, you can bring them a little bit slightly behind you so you can use them to help guide you um, in this little abdominal hip um, exercise. However, challenge yourself to bring your hands together at your heart center, not use your hands, okay? So we're gonna lead with the right leg first. So this is gonna be our starting point, always coming into um, Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, okay? So right leg's gonna reach forward, left leg's gonna meet it, okay? Mountain pose, <laughs> good. Right leg leads in, soles of the feet together, knees out nice and wide. Good, right leg leads, we're gonna go out nice and wide into that wide leg, forward fold position, wide leg straddle, good. Right leg folds back in, Baddha Konasana. Good, now left leg, left leg leads straight forward, Right leg comes together to meet it. Good, left leg bends in. Lifting your legs up off the mat. Good, left leg leads, lifting and lowering. Right leg lifts and lowers. Good, left leg folds in first. Right leg comes to meet it. Good, let's do the right side again. Right leg forward. Left leg, and again, you can lift your legs up as high as you want to. You can keep them low and hovering onto the mat. But again, this is where the abs come in. Also, lots of hip flexor work as well too. And then we'll lead with the left side, okay? Left leg leads forward and right leg. Good, left folds in, soles of the feet together. <laughs> Good, notice if you're doing anything weird with your upper body, which I was totally just doing right now. Good, okay, dropping your shoulders down. Good, let's do one more on each side. Okay, so three times all together. Right leg forward, left leg forward. Right leg bends in, left leg bends in. Right leg out to the side, left leg out to the side. Soles of the feet back together, pause for a moment, left side. Left leg leads straight forward, bending back in. Left leg out to the side, 
right leg out to the side. Good, folding back in, nice and slow. Good, take a nice big forward fold again. Drop your head, make it nice and heavy. Woo! Yeah, and notice, you know, where you felt it. Was it more in the hip flexors? Did you notice if you're rocking forward and backwards? Okay, just something to kind of just like kind of focus in and kind of learning about where your strengths are. Okay, maybe where your tightnesses are. Okay, great. And then slowly, let's just come on up. Okay. And then we're going to make our way actually into pigeon pose. Okay. So two different options. If pigeon is not accessible for you, go ahead and take um, the right. We'll do the right leg first. You can go and take uh, your right leg, your right ankle on top of your left, coming into recline pigeon. So you can just come into your figure four if you'd like. Okay. But we're going to set up in pigeon. Okay. We're going to stay here for um, a, a while. Okay. So just take your time. Use any props, you can lift your hips up on pillows, blankets, okay? So right leg is forward, left leg is long, and then slowly just lower down. And again, tune into your breath here. A little bit more of a passive practice today. Okay, and we're gonna stay for about a minute here on this right side. Okay, so whether you're in pigeon or figure four, allow yourself to just deepen into your breath, letting go of tension in your head, neck, and shoulders, allowing yourself to focus just on that right hip, okay, and if that's too much, really focus just on your breath. Good, let's actually, let's stay for about another 30 seconds here, okay? Great, taking your time, using your hands to help lift your chest and your head up. Okay, and then we're going to switch sides. So we'll do pigeon on the left side, left leg will be forward, or if you are in figure four, left ankle will be on top of your right knee. And again, take that same um, position that you did on the first side, and then we'll come gently back into pigeon pose. And we'll hold for about a minute and a half, okay? So slowly take your time, releasing down, relaxing down. Notice the difference between your sides. Okay, I can tell a major different difference on this right side. I have so much more tightness and obviously lots of more injuries on this side, but you know, letting my breath, let that all go. Okay, and then, you know, coming into this like nice passive stretching, relaxing and releasing. And again, let your breath guide you to let go of any tension. Notice if you're kind of holding yourself in, right? You want to start to relax tension in your head, neck, and shoulders, and your neck. Good. And again, about 30 more seconds left. using your hands again to help guide you on up okay and we'll all meet back on our backs okay so if you're in figure four stay there we're going to meet you 
Gently roll down, hug both knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. And then we'll move into happy baby pose. Okay, so arms and the insides of your legs to grab your ankles or the outer edges of your feet. And again, if this isn't feeling quite right for you, you can always grab just behind your knees with your arms on the outsides of your legs if that feels better, okay? So again, just choosing what feels best for you. Release your feet back down into um, bent knees, okay? Feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna come into just one bridge pose, okay? And again, options here, you can move through this pose as many times as you want to. Um, otherwise, if you wanna stay with, uh, stay with me, we're gonna move through it once and we're just gonna hold it. Um, we're gonna hold our hips up, okay? And again, you can slide a pillow under your, um, your sacrum or a block if you'd like, okay? So from here, ground through your feet. Inhale, lift your hips up towards the sky, okay? Let your rib cage open up, okay? So you start to expand your belly and your chest, and then slowly walk your shoulder blades underneath you to maybe interlace your hands behind your back. Keep hugging your knees in towards your center line. Move your chin away from your chest. And again, go back to your breath as we hold here. Let's take about five more deep breaths. Gently release your hands. Slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Okay, take your time. Move from top to bottom. Don't forget about that low back. Let each part of your spine touch the mat nice and slow. Great, and then from here, lift both legs up towards the ceiling. Okay, shaking your legs out. Go ahead and then slowly just making your way into Shavasana. Take a nice big deep inhale in through your nose. Big exhale out through your mouth. Gently shift your head from right to left. Stretching your arms up over your head, bringing your big toes together to touch. And again, let your chest lift up, let your back 
arch. Pull yourself, give yourself a nice big stretch here. Let your shoulders creep up by your ears. Exhaling, gathering your knees into your chest, giving yourself a nice big hug again, allowing yourself to rock from side to side. And then take your time coming up to seated. You can roll onto your side, or if you want to rock forward and backwards again, <laughs> kind of just piecing together, you know, our practice. And we'll just come up to a comfortable seated position. Great, and then bringing your hands together at your heart center. Okay, we're gonna take five breaths, okay? So we're gonna inhale in through our nose. And we're gonna exhale out through our teeth like we're making a hissing sound or a snake sound. Okay, so inhale in. Exhale through your teeth. Good, inhaling in, again, exhaling like a snake hissing out through your teeth. Two more times, inhale in. Go back to your natural breathing. Press your palms together firmly at your heart center. Take a nice big deep inhale in through your nose. Big exhale out through your mouth. And slowly just begin to smile in honor of your practice. Namaste. Bye everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today um, in yoga. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you next week, okay? Bye.